All right, I'm back, fully recovered from COVID, ready to talk about something other than tobacco. Today we're talking about whiskey, more specifically, a whiskey cocktail. Stick around. <music> Fellas, welcome back. It's Robert, your everyday gentleman. And like I said, today we're gonna be talking about a whiskey cocktail. We're actually incorporating two things that are two of my favorite drinks. One, of course, is whiskey. The other being coffee. And the drink that incorporates these two beverages is the Cold Fashioned. It's basically your Old Fashioned with a bit of a twist, obviously using coffee. In this case, Mr. Black's Coffee Liqueur, not sponsored. Now before we get into the mixing and the making of this recipe, if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. If you're into not only whiskey, but also things like men's style, fragrances, grooming, uh, fitness, whiskey, like I mentioned, cigars, pipe tobacco, and other topics for the everyday man, then this might be the place for you. Consider subscribing and joining the growing EG family, already at 7,000. Thank you for that. And if you're already a member, I want to thank you for your continued support. And without further delay, let's make this cocktail. All right, so this is a extremely easy recipe to make. Uh, much easier even than an old fashioned in my opinion. Um, just a couple things that you're gonna need, which is your whiskey. In this case, I am using uh, one of my favorite ryes, uh, 1776 James Pepper rye, which by the way, I'm gonna be updating my top, uh, I think it's top seven whiskeys that I had before. Uh, one of my more popular videos, but my, pre my taste preferences have changed since then, so I've gotta update that video. So. Keep an eye out for that. The other ingredient you're gonna need is, like I mentioned, this Mr. Black coffee liqueur. Stuff is pretty good, pretty easy to find. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need some bitters, orange bitters, not your Angostura bitters like you usually get. You can use a mixing glass if you prefer. I have one, so I'm gonna use it. Um, of course, you're gonna need your rocks glass. Thank you very much to my sister and my mom for making these glasses. EG on them, they're pretty awesome. So we'll be using that to drink out of. You're gonna need your shot glass and your mixing spoon, and then obviously garnish like an old fashioned with an orange. That's pretty much it. So we're not gonna use, oh, and your ice. Don't forget your ice. I don't have it out here right now, but you're gonna need some ice. No sugar in this one, just these ingredients. So it's pretty easy to make. Let's get to it. Now it's pretty much one to one. So recipes vary kind of depending on, you know, where you're looking, just like any other recipe, it's gonna vary from who's making it. But for the most part, especially if you go to the Mr. Black website, it's one to one and they're an ounce to an ounce. I'm gonna do an ounce and a half because I want a little bit more. You do a couple of dashes of bitters. So let's start with that, use the mixing glass. Actually, before I do that, it's a good idea to put your ice uh, in the cup and let it sit for a bit. Uh, if you pull it out of the freezer, just because it lets it get acclimated to the room temperature. I am fresh out of clear ice that I usually make, but I do have some square ice cubes. Not clear, so what? Gets the job done. We'll put that in there. So I'll let that sit for a bit. All right, so back to the recipe here. We're gonna mix this up. I'm gonna do an ounce and a half, like I said, of each of these. So I'm gonna do three dashes of bitters in this case. One, two, I think that was three. Yep, got that in there. Actually, I think the first one didn't come out, so let's give it one more. This thing doesn't come out like your typical Angostura bitters bottle all right so one and a half ounces of the coffee liqueur and i blocked you guys from that sorry about that Now the whiskey, same thing. Love that sound. Ounce and 
and a half. for this like I mentioned I just have it so I'm gonna use it and you just pour it over your ice and the last thing furnish it with your orange peel I need a fancy peeler the knife works just fine Squeeze it. The garnish is obviously something that's optional, but I like it. It's got orange bitters in there, so it doesn't really do anything if you add it in there. That's your cold fashioned. Let's give it a taste. Done deal. The cold fashion is set, ready to go. Let's have a drink. Cheers, fellas, to being healthy and COVID free. And that is so good. Like you can get a hint of that coffee. The coffee liqueur actually has a little bit of sweetness to it. So I'm guessing that's why you don't need to add sugar on here because you do get a sweet flavor from this. You get some nice spice from the whiskey, some nice warmth. So even though it's a cold drink, you get that nice warmth in there. It's just a really, really good drink. Mixing, obviously whiskey, one of my favorite drinks and coffee, like I mentioned before, Coffee, one of my favorite drinks to have when I'm smoking a cigar or even when I'm smoking pipe tobacco, which actually gives me an idea. I did a smoked cocktail video before. I wonder how this would taste if it were smoked. Maybe I'd have to do a video about that. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a smoked version of this here. But this is a really good drink. I highly recommend it if you like coffee and obviously uh, if you like whiskey. I'm guessing a lot of you do, but uh, definitely give this a shot. The cold fashioned. <sighs> definitely a good drink and a change of pace from your traditional old fashioned. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you found value in it, make sure you let me and YouTube know by hitting that like button. Subscribe, turn on notifications and do all the things that help this channel continue to grow. And remember, being a gentleman is an everyday thing. Cheers, fellas. We bump and yeah. play hot And as happy as I can be uh. Whoa, boom, boom.